Hi everyone, welcome to Med Sketch. The toxin of the day is nicotine. For ease, we have named the scene as Vape Shop. So as you can see in the middle of scene, a plant is placed on the road. So basically nicotine is the leaf of plant called Nicotiana tobacco. Dried leaves of the plant are used as a snuff to smoke and to chew. Let's talk about the category of nicotine. So on the top of the shop, there is a shed that is having a logo of heart in the center. So the category of nicotine is cardiac poison. So let's talk about the active principle of nicotine. So you can see letter L-A-N in the center of the scene. So that stands for lobelin, anabasine and nicotine. So these three constitute the active principle of nicotine or tobacco. So just remember nicotine, anabasine and lobulin and you can remember from the mnemonic LAN. Let's talk about the fatal dose and fatal period. On the door of the vape shop, there is written close at 2 p.m. So the fatal dose of nicotine is 2 gram and the fatal period is not very significant and it consists of few minutes and delayed to a few hours. So let's talk about the mechanism of action of nicotine. So on the shed on the left side of your heart you can see two icons. One is call and one is upside arrow. So that is representing increased call and you can remember that it leads to increased cholinergic activity. So there are basically nicotinic acetylcholine receptors as you have studied in your pharmacology. So basically nicotine acts on the presynaptic acetylcholine receptors and there it leads to increased release of acetylcholine and increased metabolism of acetylcholine as well. Along with acetylcholine the dopamine metabolism is also increased and there is increased release of dopamine as well so basically it increases the acetylcholine metabolism and release and along with the acetylcholine dopamine release is also increased so let's talk about the sign and symptoms of nicotine poisoning so we can divide it into acute poisoning and chronic poisoning so the acute poisoning is demonstrated on the left side of scene with two children one with the pink shirt and one with the blue shirt so the child on the right side in the pink is having burning stomach and also there is fire coming from his mouth and the child in the yellow is representing state of nauseousness and also you can see stars on his head and heart symbol is present on his shirt and a respirator mask is present on the ground just right to the child so what are all these representing? So the child in the pink is representing burning in the mouth, throat and stomach in the acute poisoning. The convulsions are represented by stars on the head of the child and respiratory slowing is represented by the respiratory mask. Cardiac irregularities are represented by the cardiac sign on the shirt. So basically there can be mild rise in blood pressure with increased pulse rate and it can lead to cardiac arrhythmias leading to death in the acute poisoning. The respiratory slowing can lead to respiratory failure as well. So just remember burning in mouth, throat, stomach, convulsions, respiratory slowing leading to the respiratory failure, cardiac irregularities increased in blood pressure and increased pulse leading to cardiac arrhythmias ultimately to death. Let's talk about the chronic poisoning. So chronic poisoning happens as a result of continuing to chew or smoke tobacco as well as through exposure to nicotine during processing or storage. So you can see the sign and symptoms of chronic poisoning on right side of the scene with a gentleman smoking in the blue shirt, dark blue shirt and the child on the left side of him. So you can see the child is coughing and he is having a bad odor as well. The child is also having some sort of scar on his right arm. Also red spots are present on his shirt and the child has closed in his eyes. On the other hand, the gentleman on the right is smoking a cigarette and his hand is placed on his chest and beside the gentleman you can see a poster of a cigarette. So let's decode all this. So as the child is coughing, so tobacco chewing results in chronic cough, laryngitis, pharyngitis and bronchitis. 
Tobacco handling can result in dermatitis as represented by a scar mark on his right forearm. The eyes of the child are closed so they are representing blindness and amblyopia that can be present in case of chronic poisoning and the red dots are representing thrombocytopenia purpura in case of chronic exposure. So the gentleman who is placing hand on his chest is representing the phenomena of chest pain that resembles with angina pectoris and cardiac arrhythmias can also be present with extrasystole as well. The poster on the right side of the gentleman is representing tobacco stains on the teeth that are very common in the people who smoke tobacco. So let's summarize the sign and symptoms of chronic poisoning. So tobacco chewing can result into chronic cough, laryngitis, pharyngitis, bronchitis, dermatitis, thrombocytopenia purpura, blindness, amblyopia, angina pectoris like chest pain, cardiac arrhythmias, tobacco stains on teeth and bad odor in the breath. So let's talk about the post-mortem appearance of nicotine poisoning. So you can see a person that is lying on the ground in the right most corner of the scene. The man with the red shirt. You can see brown colored froth is coming from his mouth and a stomach shaped bag is present few steps away from the man. So in the post-mortem appearance there can be asphyxia. In the stomach there can be brown discolorization as represented by the brownish bag that has the shape of stomach. Also brownish froth comes from the mouth and nose. Also esophageal and stomach mucosa can be discolored as represented by the bag. Additionally pulmonary edema and gastric irritation can be present and it all depends upon the strength of the poisoning. But just remember, asphyxia can be present, brown froth from the mouth and brown discolorization of esophageal and stomach mucosa. Let's talk about the medical legal aspects. So the medical legal aspects are more related to the mode of administration of nicotine. So if it is chewed at a high dose, it can lead to an accidental death. Similarly, excessive smoking or exposure to fertilizers, pesticides and fumigants can also lead to accidental deaths as well. So for ease, we have placed a fertilizer symbol on the left side of the scene, just on the start of the shed. You can remember that excessive smoking or exposure to fertilizer and pesticide can also lead to accidental death. On the extreme right of the shed, you can see a sick emoji with some leaves. So malingerers soak tobacco leaves in water and bandage them in their armpits to become sick with fever in the next 6 to 8 hours to avoid duty. So it is also used in malingering and most of the cases are accidental death but one of the medical legal importance is that it can be used by malingerers by placing the tobacco leaves in their armpits. So let's conclude by discussing the treatment of nicotine poisoning. So on the left side of the scene, you can see our classic gastric lavage bottle and along the bottle, you can see some charcoal and above the charcoal, you can see our artificial respirator. So stomach lavage, activated charcoals and tannins can be used in case of nicotine poisoning. Respiration and oxygen may be necessary and the rest is symptomatic treatment. So it was all about nicotine poisoning. If you have any question, you can drop in the comment section. Till then, take care. For detailed literature of toxins, refer our textbook, Excel Forensic Medicine and Toxicology, available at all major medical bookstores all over Pakistan.